Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Today, you guys, I um, I'm gonna have some homemade chicken noodle soup. I have not been feeling too well lately, which is the reason why you have not received any mukbangs from me um, in the past couple days. Please forgive me, please, please, please. I'm trying to uh, get myself back normal. Um, so, I made some chicken noodle soup, some homemade chicken noodle soup. And, I don't know if you guys can really see that. I, um, so this is, I'm not sure if, if, if too many of you watch um, the Food Network. Sandra Lee does her semi-homemade <laughs> show where um, she makes meals, but she just kind of makes it a little bit easier for you. So, let me just get one more scoop. Sorry for all the steam, you guys. Um, so how I made my chicken noodle soup is I bought a rotisserie chicken, like, you know, the ones you can get at Costco or whatever. And um, I chopped that up, cut all the meat off the bones, chopped that up, chopped up the meat. I took the bones and the skin from the rotisserie chicken and um, put it in a cheesecloth. Threw it in some water with some chicken bouillon and some Lipton um, onion soup mix. I let that boil and simmer and I think I added, yeah, I added garlic into it too. Um, and I, I think that was it. I then added my egg noodles and then I added my chicken. Then I added some corn and some carrots and maybe like three peas. So I am not a fan of peas. I think they should be against the law. Um, I don't think people should force their children to eat peas because they're absolutely disgusting. So I picked through because it was a it was a mixed vegetable with peas and carrots. So I mixed I picked through them, picked out all the peas, and just kept the carrots. Oh, I found a pea. Yuck! Ew! How did you get in there? So how's everybody been doing? Um, me and myself, I've been pretty well. Y'all know, not feeling too well. So I haven't had an appetite, which is why I can't do a mukbang, or why I haven't been able to do a mukbang. Um, it's, yeah, like I take two bites and that's it. I don't want nothing else. And it's been this way for, you know, a little while now, um, but it's starting to get better. So I figure I have some soup. Mm. I got some crackers. I'm gonna open it over here so because the, the Yeti is right here. I don't want it to be too loud. Um these are the garlic and butter ritz. Now I've had these before and um they're pretty good. They have one that's bacon. I haven't tried bacon before. But I just really just want to see maybe some simple crackers to go with my soup. Just gonna bring this a little closer to me. Now this soup turned out really good, you guys. Really, really good. I was asking my mom, because my mom makes amazing chicken noodle soup. This is nothing compared to hers. Um, so I was kind of just asking her what, what I had in the pantry so I could make some soup with, so. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I forgot to give you all a bite. My bad. I don't have cooties, I'm not like contagious or anything, so you can take a bite. <laughs> I missed y'all, I really did. Mm.
I also tried to, um, on Saturday I went to a wedding in Crockett. And I got there like two hours early because I had the time wrong, which wasn't a big deal. But I had extra time on my hands, so I was trying to go live just to kind of check in with you guys and to, you know, give a quick update as to why I haven't put out a video. But some of you may have caught it, but um, the service out there in Crockett, it's, it's, it's kind of like you're like, I don't know, there's like mountains and stuff around, so I couldn't get too great of service. So the, vi um, the live kept freezing up on me. Mm. But it would have been perfect because I have plenty of time to talk to you guys. Mm. I know this video is crooked. Sorry, my bad, you guys. I can tell that the camera's crooked. Mm. Mm. Okay. These garlic. Mmm. That's good. As soon as I get my, ooh, another pee, ooh. Get out of there, yuck. As soon as I get my appetite like 100% back, you guys, I have been wanting some tuna and crackers. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna do a mukbang on it, but I have just been wanting tuna and crackers for so long. But I really don't, like I haven't been wanting to cook anything because like, I'm not eating. So I think I have a little stomach bug or something like that. Um, but I'm start, definitely starting to feel better. Not, it's not like how it was last week. Mm. I hope you guys can hear that. <laughs> mm. Um. Mm. I did a really good job with this soup. Really good. So guys, I scheduled. Sorry, I know I'm eating, but for family. I scheduled a colonics for next weekend. Just because I think, um, I think it'll help with how I'm feeling with this little bug or whatever stomach bug that's going on with me. So good. Mm. I'm glad I used the rotisserie chicken instead of cupcake. Not right now. No, I think she wants to play. Mm. 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 I forgot what I was saying. Anywho, so I scheduled the colonics and Or you regularly get them done. 
Um, I think they're good for you. Like, you know, to do it every now and then. Just to kind of keep yourself healthy. Especially if you're a mukbanger or if you're like a food blogger or something like that, you do food reviews. Because some of the stuff that we put in is, is not the best for us. But, um, you know, I don't think it hurts to flush yourself out. Mmm. Mmm. I thought I did a good job picking out the peas. No, Cupcake, you have to wait. Just wait a minute. She wants to call out, you guys. Mm. Look at this big old chunk of chicken. Since I see it. Mm, that's what I was saying. I'm glad I used the rotisserie chicken versus like the chicken I have in the freezer because you just get so much more meat. Mm. You know, normally guys, I would have stopped eating already if um like if this was last week. And I kind of want to stop, but I am still hungry. And give a shout out to all of my Samoan viewers and subscribers. I went to a wedding, or well, the wedding I went to. Mm. Um, there was a lot of Samoan performances there. It was amazing. They did such a good job. Like just to see the hard work and dedication that they put into it, especially the kids. Like the kids, you know, like little kids. They have to be, I don't know, five or something. Like little kids. And they knew their routines. It was so cute. Mm. And hot. Mm. Here you go. straws <laughs> so my apologies if I kind of slurp a little bit you guys know I love my straws gotta have a straw so I have to go back to the store and I was just at the store and forgot to grab some more straws so, mm. Yeah, I want to stop eating. There's a difference, guys, between being full and not having an appetite. Because I'm not full at all right now. But I kind of sort of don't want to finish my food. Talk to my good friend, chatted with her. 
for like three and a half hours. I think the best friendships that you have are like if you go a long time without talking to your friend, like nothing's wrong. You're not mad at each other or anything, but just, you know, life happens and you're both busy. You go for a long time without chatting or like really catching up. Like you have your highs here and there, your texts here and there or whatever, but to really sit down and talk on the phone with your girlfriend. And then <clears throat> like time goes by and then when you guys do talk, you just pick up like nothing ever happened or like you pick up where you left off kind of sort of, you know, those are the best for me. I could think too, I, so I don't know exactly what's wrong with me, the doctors really can't figure out what's wrong with me, but I think too, I don't know, it really could be anything, but I did eat some raw meat, you guys, and I don't know if that's why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, um, it could be, I have no clue. So yeah, I had raw meat, not like um, like a medium rare steak or anything like that, like steak tartare, like completely raw meat, because it was a culture thing and I wanted to try it. And it was, you know, it was okay. I'm not sure I would eat it all the time, or I'm not sure I would, you know, go back for seconds. But I don't know, I was just trying to figure out like, what did I eat? Did I come across anything? Did I like not rinse my, you know, fruits and vegetables and, you know, just trying to play things back in my mind. And it really could be nothing. It could be just, you know, you got a stomach bug or whatever. So I'll probably be eating on this soup for a couple days. Since I'm eating so much. I'll probably call my sister and tell her to come and get some. That's what I normally do, guys. If I cook too much, I just tell my sister to come and get some. For her and her family. Mm-hmm. I'm done. Sorry, guys. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for being patient with me. Don't forget to thumbs it up, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. On the side of the subscription button is a notification bell. If you hit the bell twice, you'll be notified every single time that I upload a video. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to my new subscribers. Th uh, thanks for joining the Bam Bam. <laughs> Um, thank you to my day ones and to my loyal viewers. I will see you guys on the next mukbang. I appreciate you guys. Mwah.